Uh, this video sh is a tutorial on how to access your Physiotech. So the provider will send you a reset password or an initial link to your exercises. And it will give a confirmation that it's been sent to the uh, email address in question. Uh, if we pull over the inbox, you should get an email that would say no reply at physiotech.org. Uh, you click on the uh, link. So I go back. All right, so password reset. Here's the new link. Click on this. The window will populate with my username being my email address as default. I would set the uh, password, whatever you want it to be. In this case, we'll just call it uh, something simple. And then we will uh, just Okay, and then we'll just type it in again. And this can go through not only your email address, but it can also go through your phone, depending on which platform is most convenient for you. For me, I'll save that. And then here I can either click on the documents if my provider has given me any documents to view, or in this case, programs, and I'll be able to go to said program from here, I'll be able to see the sets and repetitions that they've otherwise prescribed. Uh, I can also go in, hit done if I've uh, completed that for this particular date. I can also rate the amount of difficulty as feedback for my therapist. I'm also able to add documents uh, should I want to uh, convey information back to my provider as well. But that can also be done uh, through your uh, My Health portal. Additionally, if we were going through something beyond just the password reset, uh, what you will often get on the first go around is if uh, you send a text message or an email, that the inbox email will be slightly different. You can notice instead of saying Physiotech support, this one is going to be labeled as uh, Stanford Healthcare. Uh, there will be two hyperlinks here, right? So it will say, here to click on the link. Uh, so I will do so and then it will give me my username. The password is blank just for secure security purposes. So I click on this. The username should populate automatically and you would pop in your exercise routine. You can see that these are locked. When I go to try and access them, I'm going to be prompted for my password. So I'll put that in. Boom. And we're done. And so that's how you would access it, at least through the email. It would be the same workflow if you're trying to do it through your phone, except it would come through as a text message rather than an email.